Let's get back to energy as Keystone XL and Northern Gateway, the big names that come to mind when we talk about major oil pipeline projects. But the fact is, there are several other pipelines in the works to relieve that growing bitumen supply pressure in the oil sands. Shedding some light on those uh, assets, BNN's Western Bureau Chief, Jameson Burko. Good to have you with us. Nice to be here, Michael. Let's talk about Enbridge here, uh, Canada's largest play in the space, what, 25,000 kilometers of pipe. Just about, just in North America. What are we looking at here as far as other options? Well, uh, first and foremost, it's important to say that uh, Northern Gateway is still very much front of mind to them. They're very focused on getting this done. They're willing to do anything and everything to do that. But it was important that Al Monaco, the newly minted CEO, pointed out that there are about $18 billion worth of other pipeline projects which totally approved, ready to go, nothing standing in their way, shovels essentially in the ground, and these all will be ready by about 2015, and uh, we can take a look at just a few of them right now. There's the $2.4 billion line six B, pardon me, 6B rebuild, that's going to add about 260,000 barrels per day of capacity. There's just a little over a billion dollar twinning of the Athabasca line, that's 350 kilometers headed up in northern Alberta, that's going to add 350,000 barrels per day. And a whole new $2.8 billion line, the South Flanagan line, that's going to add 600,000 barrels per day of capacity. So overall, that actually makes for far more than what Keystone would provide. Now, what are you hearing on the street as far as the quarterly results that came out? They're actually pretty happy. Um, they were about a uh, penny off, but still managed to keep everybody happy. Uh, there was a result from, uh, or pardon me, a note from Canaccord that uh, repeated its buy rating, $45 uh, price target. The interesting thing that they noted there was that there was going to be a 12% EPS growth, just assuming that everything they have on the docket now gets cleared, not including Northern Gateway, of course. So 12% EPS growth, that's actually ahead of the 10% that uh, Enbridge itself was uh, forecasting over through 2016. So good long-term uh, investment potential. In that company. All right, Jameson, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Jameson Burko.